What got you started in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Sorry? Like, what made him start, oh. like, training Brazilian uh, Jiu-Jitsu? And how old was he, too? What made you start to train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu when you were 15 years old? Bem, é, era uma arte que eu já vinha conhecendo quando eu morava na rua, quando eu era criança, eu, eu treinava bastante é, capoeira, treinava muito na praia, sozinho, com os amigos de rua, até que um dia um amigo começou a praticar uma arte de chão na areia e eu cheguei perto dele e comecei a praticar com ele, rolar no chão com ele na areia da praia. Okay, so he said that uh, uh, jiu-jitsu was, he knew jiu-jitsu before, but not, not as, a, as, a, as a student, but he knew what it was jiu-jitsu. And uh, he, he practiced on other things before when he was young, and uh, like, as a, like capoeira. But then one day he met a friend, and this friend was training jiu-jitsu, and introduced jiu-jitsu to him, like a base, very, very, very basic. And he likes, and then, and aí, and aí, and aí, eu gostei do treino. Na, na verdade, não foi treino, foi na verdade eu, a gente se encontrou na praia. It was just like a, a play on, on the beach. Na praia, e aí eu gostei daquela arte, daquela arte suave, mas nunca tive, tive a oportunidade de entrar em algum canto, porque como eu não tinha dinheiro. He, he likes a lot with that uh, little uh, 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 game that he had with his friend, but he had no money. He was he came from a very poor childhood, and uh, but he always he wants to. After that, he he decided to train jiu-jitsu, but because he had no money, so it was it was hard until the day that. Até um amigo meu, que foi o, o, foi o baiano dele, que me levou lá no, no projeto. Não, não foi o baiano, não. Foi o... É, foi, foi o... Não esqueci o nome dele. E esse amigo me levou lá para o projeto do Pequeno Samurai. Uh, until the day, the day that uh, one of his friends that knew him, took him to, to the Dacio Lira uh, Academy where we, we used to run a program that they call uh, the Little Samurais. It's a program that helps a lot of people, a lot of little kids who has no money and no, no condition to afford for the training. So, and then he, he started uh, as part of this program, the Little Samurais in Brazil. E aí foi quando o meu mestre e você me adotaram <coughs> para fazer parte da família da Sunita. E foi aí que tudo começou. E aí foi onde o Master da Sunita, meu pai, nosso pai, ele decidiu cuidar dele e ele começou a treinar diretamente comigo in one of our gyms and uh, that was the start of his career and then he started to do jiu-jitsu all the time. And that was in Brazil? That was in Brazil. Was in Brazil. Uh, uh, a little, because some people they got, they got confused about, about uh, uh, Tadanado and the, the little family. Eu posso, posso falar para ela que a gente adotou tudo. Tá, pode, pode. So, é. so, like I say, he came from a, a very good childhood and he had nobody. He was always like moving, you know, from many different places with, with relatives and all that. Uh, he, he didn't meet his, he didn't met his dad and uh, he, he don't know his dad and, and his mom, he never was close to his mom. And uh, so he was kind of lost. When, when he came to my gym many, many years ago, uh, he was young, very young, like 15, 16 years old. And he was involved with people that, you know, like bad influence, bad, bad uh, uh, habits. And then uh, he came to our gym 
and then he started to, to train Jiu Jitsu and we saw on him a great potential, I saw on him a great potential and I took him to my family and I introduced him to my family, uh, my father, my brothers and the whole team and then the years were, were passing by and he was doing good and he was learning from us and uh, finally we decided to adopt him as one of our really part of the family because we got a very good uh, uh, chemistry and uh, he was like, like we say, he was alone. Nobody was sticking for him, nobody was, was backing him. And then we decided to do that. So uh, we just waiting for the next time that he's going to Brazil and uh, to get the official papers and everything. But he's officially one, one of the leaders now. That is why people say, oh, you guys are brothers. Yeah, we are brothers. We were brothers before in spirit, and now we are legally brothers. Okay. He lived with us for many years in Brazil. You know, we, we took care of him. Did anybody go with him to Germany when he left? Like, no. how old were you when he went to Germany? Uh, one to to four dollar a month. Like four years ago, and he went by himself before he saw Zion. He went by by himself.